All right, Virgo, let's see how your weekend is going to play out for you. This weekend coming up will be, my goodness, January 11th, 111, um, beginning on the 12th through the 14th. Okay, you have axe, you have the butterfly, sunglasses, and the dragonfly. Okay. So it looks like, okay, being lighthearted, finding something out, things coming to light adapt changing and healing um it looks like you're you're gonna break up with somebody or give a silent treatment or end a relationship over this weekend and um some of you might actually get into another relationship with someone and or this might actually evolve this relationship um <laughs> you no know, that's the second part it really is you, um, I feel like you're going to um, ask something. You're going to break up with someone or stop some kind of pattern or abandon a relationship and just be like, you know what? I'm sick of your shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bad enough. And um, I think you're just going to be like, you know what? Let me, I've adapted. Now it's time to change and heal. And I honestly feel like you walking away from a relationship this weekend is actually going to improve the relationship. <laughs> which would make it res evolve to the next phase. All right, so there, I haven't even pulled any cards yet, and I'm already telling you what I'm feeling, except for these cards. It's basically like if this relationship doesn't change or evolve to the next phase, I'm out of here. And somebody's going to watch you walk away. Like, they're going to keep their eye on you. They're going to have their eye on you. Okay. Well, what is this about? Tell Virgo. What is this about? What is this about for Virgo? All right, yeah, Virgo, look at you. You're like, get out of here. I'm done with this. I'm not dealing with this relationship anymore. This is bull. This bull. It's not going anywhere. I don't want to, like, I'm sorry. I love you. Uh, you're a wonderful person. Uh, we've sat down. We've talked. I've asked to meet, have my needs met. I'm doing my best to meet yours, but you're not budging. Uh, you're not moving you're holding on to me you're not letting anyone else come in but like we're not you're just putting me on a shelf where is it going it's not going anywhere and i don't have to stay on this shelf i'm just going to tip myself right over onto the floor and roll on out the door yeah that's kind of your <laughs> you know that's your thing Th that's what it looks like no I mean, you know that's what it looks like yeah i'm done with this after this sends relationship evolving to the next phase, this person, whoever you're talking to, could be a Scorpio here with the death card, whoever you're talking to, whoever you're letting loose, whoever you're cutting loose, it's like, wait, 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 whoa, 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 what do you mean you're leaving? What, what do you mean you're done? You've never been done. Well, you've said you were done before, or you've, you've stopped talking to me before, but you never actually just never came back. You always come back. What do you mean? And Virgo's like, no. Here's the keys to the car, keys to the house. You can have it all back. There's your records. There's your cat. Adios. So I kind of feel like, <laughs> Virgo, this person, they're going to be watching as you walk away. Yeah, yep, yeah, they're going to be stalking. <laughs> Can't with this. Four of cups. Here you go. But I love you. I love you. I love you. I promise. I promise. It, the ring's coming. I promise. Uh, the commitment's coming. I promise. Come on, baby. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. And Virgo's like, I'm sorry. You have shit on your shoe. Do you know you have dog shit on your shoe? Virgo's like, I don't even care about your love offers. I just want to know. You're disgusting. You have shit on your shoe. Okay. So, I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy. All right. Yes. <laughs> the way these cards come out some days, it's, you know, you can't. Like I said, they're going to be watching. You walk out the door and you're going to be like, uh, 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 uh. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Shaking your booty as you're walking out the door here. Like, okay. Take a picture. It lasts longer. Bye bye. <laughs> and then just gonna be like, oh, look at Virgo going. 
Yeah, Virgo will be back. That's what they're telling themselves. Virgo always comes back to me. Virgo will be back. Virgo, yep. I'll just wait. I'll wait. So I'll get some laundry done. You know, I know it's piled up, but I guess I could get some laundry done and get things done while I'm waiting for Virgo to come back. Virgo's always available. Virgo's just pissed right now or, you know, whatever. They got something else going on. It's not what they're saying. It's nothing to do with me. I'm perfect. They got other issues. Virgo has other issues. So Virgo will be back. Yeah, I'll get the laundry done. Get these bills paid. Maybe I'll go clean up that wood pile in the backyard. Virgo's like, I'm free. Look at me. I'm single. I have all my coins. I got my money in the bank. I even got myself a little bird. Keep me company. Yep, I'm fine. I got some new clothes. I'm looking good. I'm even wearing my reading glasses because I'm getting old, but that's okay. They're hanging around my neck now, but I won't lose them. I'm good. And then, and then, in walks the love of Virgo's life. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. See, Virgo, you might have been trying to get this person to change. And I told you in the beginning of this reading that once you give someone the axe, the relationship will evolve to the next level. But the only way it's going to actually evolve to the next level, level is if somebody else is in the picture. Now, I am not telling you to go out and just start dating immediately. Oh, yeah, we all got to heal. But you know something? Sometimes you've just been healing enough. You've had enough healing, and now you're going to need to get moving. Somebody else comes into the picture. And that person finds out about it. Because remember, they're watching. And now that pile of laundry and that big pile of logs out there in the backyard is not as important now as the fact that you've got somebody else here. And now this person turns into a fool for you. I'm ready. No, no, okay, let's do it, let's do it. Virgo. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to go get some more coffee or something. I just, like, I'm so thirsty right now. <sighs> All right, okay, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do it. Listen. Listen, Virgo, <laughs> I have two minds on this whole thing. It doesn't matter, my opinion doesn't matter, who cares? This is how it's gonna happen. Once somebody else is in the picture, that there's a little bit of competition. And that's when things are going to shift. And that's when things are going to change. So this weekend, you know, that's what I'm seeing. Okay. Does that mean you're going to do it? Actually, accept some, somebody to come in? Maybe. You might even manifest it on your own. Or you might kind of just make it seem like somebody else is in the picture. And you might not be serious about that person. I don't know. But whoever comes in, obviously, like, they're, I don't know, you might want to take a look at them. Aries, Libra. I'm um, not Libra. Could be. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Taurus. Could be an Aquarius. You might want to take a look at this person who's coming in to make a, um, you might be wasting your time with someone from the past. That's not, if they weren't willing to move then, you know, I don't know where to go. I'm not going to give you advice. I'm done with that. You're definitely going to be at a crossroad. You're going to, you're definitely going to have a decision, a choice. Oh my God, two of wands. The which path you're going to take, which, which, which path you're going to journey. Because I feel like whoever this person is that, needed that wake-up call they get it when somebody else when they they feel like there might be a threat or somebody else in the picture and if they think for two seconds that somebody else couldn't be in the picture it's only because you are just not allowing them, them to be not allowing someone else to be in the picture someone else could definitely be in the picture but maybe virgo you're that person that just you hold on with your heart you love who you love you don't want to ruin the relationship but 
why do you have to be the good guy all the time? Why do you have to be the one who's always doing the right thing? Who's being righteous and doing it by the book? Just curious. Okay. That's you. Day in and day out. You're always doing the grind, Virgo. You're always doing the grind. You're always doing it the right way. Looks like it's time to come out of your comfort zone a little bit. Shake things up a little bit. It looks like it's time for you to like take some action and change some stuff about yourself a little bit, you know? Get a little wild, a little freaky deaky. I don't know what you're doing, but it, it looks like it's you need to shake it. You need to shake your fail your your tail feather. I almost said you need to shake your fail tether. What the hell is wrong with me? You need to shake your tail feather a little bit here, Virgo. Okay. Yeah. Because you are a empress. You are the queen. You are the king. You are the you are the ish. All right, let me get some, um, I forgot I was going to do this. All right, who's the Chinese sign? You and the person you're walking away from. This sounds like some kind of plan to put into action, but I'm not telling you to do this. I just see that you, you, you're taking the, these, making these moves. You got Year of the Dragon, Year of the Goat, Year of the Pig, Year of the Ox, Dragon again. Year of the rooster. A monkey. A goat again. The dog. The rat. One more they said. And a horse. All right, Virgo. So you and the person you're walking away from. Sure. Do what you got to do, Virgo. You know? Oh, they just said... They just said to like deviate away from that and give you some money messages. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna give you some Chinese messages since we are now into the year of the dragon here. All right, let's see what your fortune cookie Chinese messages are. Okay, you have a bunch. Love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart. As difficult situations will be, will be resolved by a good decision this week. Ooh. And you have luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Here, Virgo. You also have burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. All right, let's give you another one. Okay, you've got love again. Love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. I'm telling you, that's what it was. The relationship evolving. For some of you, it's letting go of an old one. And somebody new comes in here. That king of wands, masculine or feminine. Something starts evolving there. While the cat's away, it looks like the mice are going to play. All right, let's see. All right, we got a Taurus, a Libra, Aries, and a Scorpio. Okay, September 20th, September 6th, September 12th, birthdays, initial P, initial T, 55, age 55. Oh, and just like that, we have a Dalmatian. See it? You got a Dalmatian. Let me see if I could bring it in closer. Bring it in, Mamacita. Bring it in. There. So, do you have a Dalmatian? Someone might have a Dalmatian dog. Something special about a Dalmatian or a dog. Okay, walking the dog. You might meet someone while you're walking your dog. 1973. The initial A's, two A's, and a G. 
We have a Taurus again, a Libra again, a Scorpio again, and a Taurus again. And there's Capricorn. You've got July, uh, the month of July, very significant. You have an H on, and an I. Somebody's name is Pat, Patrick, Patricia. Um, someone's last name is Pitt. Someone's a pitcher. I just heard pitcher, like they pitch. Pew. Pitching a ball. Pitcher, catcher. Um, I know it sounded like I was gone. Someone's last name is Haight. H-A-I-G-H-T. Oh, sorry, you guys. I didn't realize the thing was out. Haight, H, like Haight As Asbury. Haight, H A. H A I G H T or height, height or height. Okay. Someone works for a company called A I G. And someone calls someone fat, like P H A T. What does that mean? P H A T. I don't know what that means. I probably don't want to know. I don't know if it's an acronym for something or what. P H A T. Okay. It's like something the kids say. I don't know what the kids say. <laughs> All right. Let's just get another charm. Oh, I didn't even see this was sitting here. Where'd this come from? There's a hanger. Do you see? Let me get close. Look, a hanger. Do you have like um? <sighs> hanger, like an airport hanger, they're just saying. Hold on. A hanger. Are you stuck at an airport? Stuck in an airport. They're just saying I'm getting that. Or someone has a boutique or owns a boutique as well. Or you have really nice hangers in your closet, like specialized nice hangers. Um, no, that feels like... Or some of you are taking that dress off that hanger or that outfit, masculine or feminine, whatever you are. Some of you are putting on that little black dress... Or you're, put, you're getting into some clothes or putting on something you haven't worn in a while over this weekend. Maybe you're going somewhere. Look at the plane. Maybe you're flying. Stuck in the airport, though. Watch out for delays. There might be airport delays over the weekend. Yeah, okay. I'm going to leave that there. That was interesting. <laughs> I don't know if it was fun, but it definitely was interesting. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe on the channel if you enjoy my readings and again as you guys I have to keep saying because some people are like I don't know how you can go from being in a commitment in the relationship to now we're broken up and he's a liar and it's because I've divided the readings the full one hour readings into four sections so it's four different readings that's why they're not all blending okay so if anybody hasn't caught on to that that's what's going on okay it's not all one reading it's just an hour long all right, you guys. So, uh, yeah, have a great weekend. Love you all. Don't forget, if you want to book a reading with me, you still can. You can either have a phone call reading or a text, whatever you choose. And thank you to the moderators. Everybody give a shout out. They're so awesome being here every week. And I will see you guys on Sunday. Take care. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye